Hey y'all, uh, welcome to the video, it's Squafficer AK. We are back here in, uh, for episode 11 on the uh, Truck and Axe series here. If you missed the last episode, go check it out because you would have seen us build this amazing house right here. Finally got to stay in a bed for the first time. We're going to actually go inside the, inside the main part of the house, make me a pot of coffee real quick. And I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. I recorded the last video on... Friday 13th and it was about 7 o'clock well I ate dinner that night and I've been grinding as y'all can see by the top right and uh, the new sawmill is overpowered so we are gonna make a new rule for that we can only sell two times because if you well we can only sell um, one gooseneck because the gooseneck has an auto load on it because I got tired of loading them up we're actually gonna take a trip over there here in a second Gonna take a sip of that. There we go. There we go. Well, we lost them all. We lost a cup, y'all. And uh, we decided to put some high country mirrors and get some American forces for the truck, which looks pretty good. We still got the stocks, and it still ain't got no motor. Uh, 350 hasn't changed really. Still got the dark tint and everything. Really, I should take the 10 off so I can go in first person with it, but we're not. Um, we haven't driven a 6.0 in a while, y'all. So, we're going to take the 6.0 and uh, off cam. Oh, by the way, it is 1 o'clock on September the 14th right now, a.m. We clear this area up. I put a dirt line here so that way we knew what to clear. We still got some trees over here we got to get. We got the rest of the attachments. Well, actually, we're in a good spot, so let's go ahead and purchase all them things. So we own them. There we go. So now we own everything now. Nothing's leased anymore. It's actually going to take the 6 out, y'all. We haven't taken it in a while, and it just marks the 6. I'm walking alone in the streets are empty. Then I can see my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Through it in there real quick, but there is the uh, clips from uh, everything we sold and kind of dropped off. I think we dropped off two loads and like the uh, three like low trails and one use nook. And what the fact that I'm sitting here and I haven't started this truck yet because we know how long it takes to start. But So 
but we're good to go now. I got the dark tail on this thing too, don't I? Yeah, I do. This truck looks pretty good too, y'all. It's got, got a great blow off valve on it. Need to get some diesel to transfer tank in the tank out there. I'm gonna think that's so good, y'all. We're just gonna go show you. Oh, what? I gotta get me a new controller at some point, y'all. I'm just gonna keep doing that. And the uh, town has also changed. This town has decided to uh, go ahead and redo the renovations, and we'll give you a little tour of what's changed so far. So, we're no longer on dirt road. There's no signs in here yet. Well, you can take that road behind us right there and go to the uh, to, uh, a cell point. Uh, if you want, there's two split offs here. You can either go straight, which you can go this way. Or you can go the other way. In the time lapse, I saw we went here uh, twice, and then the other one on the last time, the first time. So we have a supermarket right there, with a little cell point behind there. We have a McDonald's, which is coming to find you, an ass out front here. Got a little pizza joint here. Got another pizza joint right there. We got a Mexican place right there. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is this place? Well, it's some morning place. Uh, they got the diner with a log up front. And the neighborhood's a little bit different. We can add some more places over there, too. Which I probably will end up doing to make the neighborhood popular because this place is getting more popular. And this guy decided not to move, so he's still here. So we still got, there's some towels. I, I'm going to be honest with us. I haven't touched these two. I've been focusing on the one back here. So all the roads are asphalt too, and uh, there's a fence around them, so I'm going So I just see there's a shed here. There's the trailer and the low trail. Just look at this. This is one, two, three, four. Four, okay. So let me get the calculator out. Alright, so right here. One, two, wait, hold on. So it's four, so four times three, which is twelve. Okay, that ain't four, eight, twelve, yeah, twelve. Okay, so it's twelve times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A hundred and twenty pallets just right here. And then we. Plus four, plus five, 129 pallets just right here. Holy. And 125 pallets is worth one load, two load, three loads, so about $700,000, I'd say. And then right here we have basically just 12 times, uh, 12 times two. Plus four, plus three, so 31 right here. These are uh, wood beams to my right here. On the left here is all the pallets, like the planks. So when I told you that thing took, it takes a lot to operate it. It's because, or it's, it's somewhere over here. But there, okay. Act, unactivate. So you, we got a lot of wood chips, as you can see. But the reason it takes so much, because it's trying to put all these down. Although I don't have all of them activated, it's trying. To, it takes three thousand, is what it says, to make it. And these two are still here, but you see they haven't been doing nothing. So I really want to see if I if, like don't need it running. I'm not gonna operate it. Come made that limit. Uh, I can sell as many of these as I want, but I can just take the goose neck, which I think. I can use the winch on this too much if I can. So. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's enough talking, y'all. We got a few things we gotta do in today's episode. But I just wanna go ahead and show you the new town and everything. I mean, 
Episode 11 is a chilled episode, y'all. I'm not really going to do nothing much. It's late for me, so you kind of got me on a calm day. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Um, our new schedule might start. It's going to start next week, I think, y'all. Because I'm going to stay up tonight and edit the episode 10, which y'all already saw. If you watch them in schedule, you've already seen it. But it is what it is. And uh, today's episode, we're probably just gonna get the small trailer. Uh, we really need to get the big trailer. So we'll put this behind the big trailer, get them two other logs, put the wheel loader inside, and we'll redo the uh, farm area. We're just gonna kind of do remodeling, I guess. Remodeling is what we're gonna do today, y'all. So, hope y'all enjoy the remodel. Probably do no time left so they would do all this one video. So. This wheel loader was a big help because as y'all can see, it's sitting here with two logs on it right now still. I would turn the truck off, but we both know how long it's going to take to start back up. It's not like we need it for the saw gun at the moment, so. A little cheetah way to do it, y'all. We'll cut a lot of this off, cause I don't feel like taking the six saw up. Well, let me play it smart. Let me get the thing under there first. Oh, I'm not going to the sawmill again. Not just for two of them, at least. So if I turn it off, it won't turn. There we go. Well, we chop it off right about here. There we go. Now I can start. Oh, it still fell. Still a good sized logger right here. We'll be cutting it in half still. This is one of the tall trees. See the skids down, I had to cut that in threes. Is that light enough where I can pick it up, or is that still heavy? It's too heavy, it looks like. Let me turn that back off, y'all. Oh, where's that other log at right here? I should be able to pick this one up. Oh, I can't. Oh, I just cut it in half. So we ain't got to fight with the wheel loader at the moment. Probably just do the same over here. No need to try and fight this little piece and move the truck back and forth. But I might, I might be doing that if I can't pick this up. We'll fix it here in a second, y'all. Don't worry. Yeah, I still don't know how y'all because I decided to record two videos tonight. So that way at least Sunday, at least late weekend's good because I can always record two, one video. I can record a video. I can, oh god, I can't even think y'all so late. I can record about, three to four episodes every night, so. That's why I said this, this is going to be daily because I've been taking an episode every day. And then I edit, so I record one video one night, and then I edit that video the next night. Which we actually gotta get everything out, so I don't know why I'm doing this. I should have cleared some more trees, y'all. That sucks to be me. Or we can make the farm over there now. And make all this, like clear them up and make that a big grass area. That ain't bad, actually. That's a great idea. Let's do that. <laughs> Cause then I gotta move everything out. Cause we got 300 something to spend. So we'll just make this the farm area. Please tell me this ain't too heavy. Thank God. Alright. I'm gonna put our straps on all of them. 
in this wheat field, I don't even care about it anymore. As you can see, I just drive in it. I don't care for it. Alright, so y'all, we're going to go ahead and hop into the sky here and figure out what we're going to do. But this would be a nice, really time lapse, y'all. So, I know it's not what we're going to do a time lapse today, but it will look a lot better if I did a time lapse and sped it up because we're actually doing a lot of building, not just one thing. So, enjoy the time lapse. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on Here we got kind of nice little fence put around the property, so we have a like a sort of good looks. We can't put any trees up. Now, if I knew I was gonna put my uh, shop here, I would left trees up, but I didn't think about it until I was like, yeah, I want to have a nice little size area. So right here, we got a nice little side. Oh, we gotta go inside of the door in this one. Can I fix that? Can I really move that chair? Oh, if I got that on, I can. So we go ahead, we got a nice little side shop here, probably, I don't know what we're going to put in here, probably like this kid's deer over here, maybe the wheel loader, combine. Come over here, we got a nice little red shop, this would be like the workshop. I know there's like a trigger in here we can work on things somewhere, maybe. Nah, if there ain't, it ain't a big deal. What is that, is that radio? There's is the radio. John Deere. <laughs> uh, over here is the same building that y'all seen before. So we're actually going to go ahead and open all the doors up, because we have to bring some stuff inside now. 
So let's go ahead and start transferring our stuff over here. Oh, I did leave a gap between here so that way we can uh, get the uh, header in here because we don't need trailers if they're right next door. And we got a nice little sign up, you know, land development. Because technically we kind of have land development around here. So uh, we might open like a little land uh, side business. So uh, this building is definitely going to get like gone. Um, open that up. We're going to go get the skits here in a second. Um, we can take the combine and head over there first. Oh, it's gonna be hard. it's gonna be difficult getting the combine out. I haven't I put it in here, so we would have to get it out for a while. Just gonna like back up. I do one of these type of deals just cause the auger. See, I just put the auger inside the building. Well, I wasn't trying to do what happened, so it is what it is. Oh, I need the header. Where am I going without the header? Uh, one thing I hate about the manuals here is that the um, when I go look at my camera, like make it wider, it downshifts and everything, or something like that. Or if I'm going trying to zoom in, it upshifts. That's one thing you see about the combine. See yeah, a lot for me actually. Um, probably just put the header over here to the right. See, look, it fits just perfect. Actually, we could put the fence in farther if we wanted to. This should be a little header area, I guess. Does it fit in? If it fits in there, I'll go in here. Cool. It fits. Now I'm gonna try and put it like that up farther over here so we won't have to deal with it much. I could be in the way or something. There we go. Uh, we're actually just gonna do one of these. Get the equipment cleaned up first. Uh, next episode, we might plant some corn. I mean, I was worried about money, but after I found I got 120 pallets over there, I ain't worried about it no more. Like, I'm worried about money. I want to get money still, but if I have to, I can't. Well, I'll have myself one sale every episode. So, we at least be in the hunt again. We don't want to overpower it. That's kind of overpowering there. Now, we're still take trees over there and get them. We get a process and everything, but I don't think I'll have the thing activated until we need it. Uh, I don't know. I want to put this heater here, y'all. Hmm. We'll just put it back in the old barn. It wasn't. I had no problem with it being in there. That would be like the skid steer and tractor shed, really. And it fit in here good too. And we know the shop can fit everything that we have just because we had one over there. Hopefully that was the best time left to be building something. I'm gonna try and put it in there like at an angle. Like that. Go. Let's run over there and grab the plow now and put the plow in here. Kinda wish this thing had a front loader on it, but we do need to get a tractor at some point. Oh, we need to get a John Deere. This thing does pretty good for it, what it is. I got no complaints with that, I just need a second tractor for someone. Also, when LJ comes here, we both have tractors, we can do something. We'll get the plow washed too. I didn't plan on washing it because I didn't expect to own it, but then I started making some money, so then I bought it. So we'll give it a clean up real quick. The video is probably about 30 minutes long since I'm moving everything, not in time lapse like I th was going to do.
Those scratches? That's just really dirty, huh? I mean, they're coming off slowly or surely. Get this thing looking brand new. There we go. It's crazy to think that we've just started with that piece of land right there. And it's evolved into this within 10 episodes. Well, 11 episodes now, but 10 episodes really. We really didn't do nothing today. Except for a bunch of stuff off camera. The only reason why I do it off camera, y'all, is that way we're not having uh, 15 episodes of us doing like the same exact thing. But I always put little clips in of what I did off camera just so y'all know what I did. Alright, um, what do we need to get next? We need to get the mulcher from down there. Cause I want to have everything in at least one spot. So we'll run down here and grab this real quick. That's the forks and the bucket for the... Uh, Cat case gets here, which well, not gets the uh, wheel loader that has the manual. See, there's that road I was talking about, goes off into the abyss. This thing does pretty good. All right, this will go in the red shed. Actually, it'll fit over here, so it'll come over here, really. Oh, I gotta go inside and open this door. Oh, it fits, too. Oh, it might not fit. No, it don't fit. Well, the skid's too, so it's going in there, then. I use this a lot, so it, oh, it just busts my window out. <laughs> oh, what else we got over there? I don't think we need this anymore for the time being, so we'll just stick it right here. Um, we do need to get the 6 0 started. Oh, this kid's just over here. Well, I'm really gonna need this thing, but we need to get the 6 0 started. Go and shut that. Got some massive claws on this thing. See how it just downshifted like crazy because I was trying to do something. Half of the attachments are just going to stay outside because this is what lives on this one only, so I'm just going to stick this one right here. That one lives on this. The bucket and the fork won't live on it forever. They'll eventually come off. But the grapple is always on. We're always clearing land off camera. For as it goes for these two, we don't have a skid steer, so we really can't get everything. Really want to just put them right there. Try and get it in there straight, but that's going to be hard to do with the combine there. See, I got it in my head what I want to do with it, but reality, I'm probably just, I don't know. Reality, I'll just probably just stick it right here, I guess. Then put a hole in my foot there, too. I think we'll kill the bucket. <laughs> this thing will just probably keep like 6 0 in, probably. 6 0 ain't going to the house. This will work for Unless that's like the last to go driving. Mm, we hit the garbage can. This thing does not have a good turn radius, y'all. We got a good bit of things over here so far.
Uh, probably move the trailers like right there. Actually, over here is my best spot with the trailers. If this thing fits under the thing, which it might. Ooh, the exhaust, so it won't fit. So it's just gonna go in there for the time being. Put it at the back door, cause this thing will always be used, so I wanna have it door access. Well, I can see how the windows in this thing. There we go. Oh. Alright, so, got the 6 in now. I need to get them pallets in there, but I'm gonna do that today, cause I don't have the skid steer, so. Really, everything's out of here. Except for, like, the tippers and trailers. So we'll go and take the tippers over there real quick. Little farm pig right here. Just things that we probably need to sell because if you make a weird turn, they start to wiggle. Well, they won't do it now. Alright, now I'm going to put these if I can get back there. Ooh, it's going to be close, but I think it'll fit. Just kind of like dealing with these things as they're paying the back up. Right there's where they'll go. Um, for the trailers, I well, actually stick them right there. That's a pretty good spot right there. Um, get the big one first. Uh, sorry, it has stuff on it. Got that truck at that option. <laughs> this truck has the option if you press a certain button, it starts to play um, whatever that song is. See, we'll have to take it out that way, but at least it'll be parked over here. And I always like to put the big one right here just because it's got always stuff hanging off of it normally. I actually got this way because I ain't gonna make that turn. Should make a road right there at least. We'll cut that tree down too. Leave in the comments if you thought if you think the uh, American forces and the uh, 20, uh, 2015 High Country mirrors go pretty good on the uh, Dermax over there. Some of y'all may be asking where the Duramax was all this time. It was actually at the uh, sawmill with the um, load trail, which I left a load trail in our new 20 foot gooseneck that has the pallet option on there. That's the only thing we use that trailer for, unless these two are both slat full of logs, which they're never like full. Like when they get full, I take them to the sawmill. There we go. Our two work trailers. Back this in this new spot. Oh, it is shutting. It normally makes a noise. Like, normally it's like something like you can hear it. I couldn't hear that one. We'll just back this in here. We got plenty of room in here. Probably bring the dually over here. So it's sitting inside because that's my nice truck. Let's sit this right here so we have room for things. Yeah, let's go grab the dually real quick. I think sounds good, y'all. And the Duramax will always live over here until I build that shop. But she's gonna be a little bit. Cause I wanna get some toys, you know, for RP purposes.
Hopefully it fits in there. It was a little skinny for her. Oh, she does. Oh, the 6 has got a good hold on it. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so... Let me go, actually, let me tab back over here so I can shut these doors. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed episode 11, y'all. That's gonna be the it for today's episode. Uh, thumbnail's gonna give away what we did today, but... I don't care, we actually have a silo now. We have two more buildings, so none of our stuff's crammed. Half of our stuff's inside. And this is a way better setup than what was over here. Uh, next episode, I'm probably going to have that deleted. If I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it is right now. I'm going to tell you the exact time. It is 1.31, September the 14th, a.m. So, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and finish it. Well, finish the last video up go edit it so y'all can see it today and uh i hope y'all enjoyed y'all's the weekend and uh we'll catch you for monday wednesday and friday but knowing me you'll see a video all week <laughs> so later y'all catch you on the flip side